Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for today and it's time to get a little nostalgic because this is from Kruby Cat. This is Golden Age of Xbox 360 Timeline, which uh, sounds great to me. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to warn everybody. I'm, mo I'm most likely going to pause a lot. If, if we're just going through every game, the, through the Golden Age, uh, and we're going like, ooh, this came out like two days. This oh, th These five all coming out in that... Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 15 days, one month, eight days, seven days. Okay, so I think all of these did come out around the same time, right? 15 days in between each other, then one month in between Call of Duty 4, and, and then Assassin's Creed was eight days after Call of Duty. Seven days after Assassin's Creed was Mass Effect. Dude, that's insane. That In the span of, of not even... That's like, that's two months. The span of two months, all these games came out. These are all... pretty good <laughs> it's pretty good and that's just that's just one that's just two months in one year 2007 was a fucking amazing year by the way this is all 2007 by the way 2007 one of the best years in gaming uncharted also we have to bring that up it's not a 360 game obviously but i just want to bring that up anyway so uncharted was 2007 also so a lot of franchises started in 2007 so i think the witcher started in 2007 right and then that wasn't that the first game i think it was 2007 some good franchises. Anyway, so 2007, one of the best years in gaming. Anyway, let's, uh, and I'm not even just talking about 360. So let's get to it, baby. Golden Age. Link in the description. Go check it out yourself. Let's go. Three, two, one, play. Yes. Yes. So we're going to actually have the, all right, here we go. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. Yep. Yes. Uh, g game trailers gave that one of their highest scores ever, I think. A week and a half later. That's insane. And it was exclusive for a little bit on 360, right? Mono me! Now I can't, I can't hear that without thinking of uh, the Batman. Prey. Remember, we were supposed to get Prey 2 and it looked so good. At least we got Prey 2017. That was pretty good too. Dead Rising, yeah. Yo, look at this year. Prey was also exclusive on Xbox for a little bit, I think. I think it did come to PS3 eventually, right? Dead Rising, obviously, you can play on a bunch of consoles now. Saints Row, that was a... Uh, wait, I think that was exclusive, right? I don't think Saints Row came to three, uh, PS3. Double Age, dude, Double Age, it's so weird. Here, I'm gonna pause here. Double Age, it's so weird because if you play the Xbox original version, it's a completely different game. So weird. Fear, yes. 14 days, dude, too many good games. Dude, the start of so many franchises in the 2006s, 2007. Dead Rising, Fear, Saints Row, Prey, I guess, technically. Um, Call of Duty 3. Call of Duty 3 was pretty good. I don't think it's... Same day as what? Gears of War, yo. It's a good start of so many franchises. So many, so many studios still rely on to this day. Rainbow Six Vegas. These are all considered classics in some form. I, I, would, I would argue that Lost Planet Soccer. <laughs> I'm not the biggest Lost Planet guy. I, it, it looked great for the time. Crackdown. Now I love Crackdown. It's not just a Halo 3 beta game. Fuck you. Even though that was a reason why I wanted to get it, obviously. Big reason, actually. But it was great. Dude, only a year and a couple months later, and that fucking game's already out. A sequel. <laughs> How did I forget about that in 2007? That was exclusive for like a year. On Xbox, Stranglehold, yo, shout outs. I don't really like Stranglehold. Obviously, Kirby Cat does too. If they're gonna put it on there, I feel like there might be some. I feel like there's a big jump there. Was there really nothing in between March and August in 2007? I guess not. Yeah, I assume we would check. Skate One, of course, start of another franchise. The end of one franchise, <laughs> I guess. Oh no, Halo Reach. Halo Reach is still Bungie. And ODST. Orange Bot the end of, uh, well, one franchise at least. <laughs> well, no, Team Fortress 2, I guess, is dead too. <laughs> Technically, it's not, but it's not, I know. Half Life 3. Ah, uh, Alex. We had Alex. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Some people would say that's the start of that franchise, really, but Call of Duty 1 and 2 are great games still. 
Assassin's Creed. Not the biggest Assassin's Creed 1 fan. I, th I think it was good, but I, I didn't love it as much as I love 2 and Brotherhood and some of the other ones. Mass Effect, yo. What a great, great... What a great uh, start, too. I just finished Mass Effect 1 when the trilogy remaster came out. Yeah! I don't give a fuck what anybody says. GTA 4 is a masterpiece. Masterpiece. Bad company. Oh, they're shutting the servers down. No! No! <laughs> Bad company 2, I'm a little bit more upset about. Yo, Dead Space! Remember when... Remember when horror games used to come out in October? It's crazy. I mean, they, they, they still do sometimes, but... I feel like all the best ones come out not in October. Saints Row 2. Far Cry. Oh, yeah. Kroby Cat's very familiar with Far Cry 2. I think it was that the first video I saw of Kroby Cat? Well, at least reacted to it. I think I watched his videos before. But... Fa Yo, I love Fable 2. I have a full playthrough of Fable 2 on my uh, channel. Uh, you shouldn't watch it, though. It was literally back when it came out and I didn't have a capture card, so I was just. Filming with my 240 camera. It might even be 144p at this point. Uh, filming my TV. <laughs> so, Story I'm sure it's cringy too. I'm sure it is. 15 years ago. Fallout 3. Seven days later. Same day at... Uh, this October is insane. Look, Dead Space, Saints Row 2, Far Cry 2, Fable 2, a lot of 2s. Fallout 3... 10 days what? What'd I say? I mean, that's not October, but still. God damn. Is it an R2? Let me see if I can guess it. I don't know. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh! World at War. What's next? Anything else? Seven days later? The ring. It's <laughs> a little joke. Oh my god. Holy shit. Dude, this fucking year was insane. Can we just go back to 2008? What the fuck, man? This sucks. I already knew... This This does not help, by the way. Kirby Cap, this does not help. Making us realize how shitty it is now. Look at all the... I mean, we still get great games. Obviously, we just had a new game that's like a, already an instant classic uh, with Baldur's Gate, but... <sighs> Three. Three. Escape two. Two months. Dun, dun, dun. Resident Evil 5. I really like Resident Evil 5. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Co op's so much for three months. Okay, so we're slowing down in 2009 a little bit. Yo, Red Faction Gorilla! Fuck yes! I love Red Faction Gorilla. One of my favorites. Probably my favorite of the franchise. Even though I loved the original when I was a kid. Prototype! I love Prototype. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Ooh, Infamous. Uh, I mean, Infamous is great too. The prototype is the shit. There's ODST. Borderlands. Oh, that's... Wait, was that the original font? Because Borderlands, originally, when it was supposed to... When it got revealed, it looked like it was supposed to be pretty serious. Anybody remember the... the like, the the reveal of Borderlands or the announcement of it? Go look up the original trailer for Borderlands. It looked like it was trying to do Mad Max stuff. Like, legit Mad Max stuff. Would have been more interesting, actually, in the long run if it didn't go that way. Maybe. Mario Kart 2, of course. Look at this. The 2006 to 2009, so many franchises were born that are still big to this day, except Prototype uh, and Red Faction. Uh, it, it, Red, to be fair, Red Faction wasn't born, but so in, in this year, Left 4 Dead 2 is not. Well, technically, Left 4 Dead 2 is still alive. So, you know, what's the same day? Let me guess. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. That's it. That it was that quick. <laughs> A week later, it came out. No. Uh, what? What would be it? Same day, November 17th, 2009. I don't know. I don't know. That makes sense. I spent a lot of money that day. <laughs> I spent a lot of money that day. Mass Effect 2. I just played that again not too long ago when the remaster came out. Fantastic. Bioshock 2 is very underrated. Uh, I have a... Sp I'm a little spiteful towards it because I was like an hour away from finishing it and then... I don't know what the fuck happened, but my my save got corrupted. Like all of my saves, because I, I I had multiple saves. All of my saves were corrupted. Actually, no, 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 no. 
Three of them were corrupted. So I had to go... No, no, no. No, they were all, no, they were all corrupted. I'm thinking of uh, Fallout uh, New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas, I, I had to stop because... No, they weren't corrupted. It was... Oh, I'm confusing it all. Wait, no. Fallout New Vegas, which we're going to see soon, um, uh, was corrupted. No, it wasn't corrupted. It was... No, it, it did the thing where if you save too much, it slowed the game down. So in a way, I guess, corrupted. But no, Bioshock 2 deleted all my saves. All, I don't know what happened. It didn't delete them, but it was corrupted. Like, they just couldn't use them. So, I was literally an hour away. I was like, well, that fucking sucks. I just watched the rest on YouTube. So, not my fault. I'm not playing the whole fucking game again. They, especially here? Dude, this... Look at all these games. Like, nowadays, like, you can skip all these other games. Like, whatever. They're kind of forgettable. But look at this. these games. Look at all these games. In 21... Dude, Bad Company 2 comes out in three weeks. I can't... I gotta... I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. And who knows what games I think are good that he just doesn't put up on here. So, Skate 3. I'm sure there's games in 20, 2006 all the way to 2010 that he thinks aren't good. That I would. Oh, Alan Wake's the same day. I have an unboxing for both Red Dead Redemption 1 and Alan Wake on the day they came out. I got the Alan Wake like book edition. Same day. Alan Wake, baby. Let me see it. Let me see it. What'd I say? What I fucking say? That was a good ass day, bro. That was a good day. Two months. D you know what? Take all the time you need. Why would you put Crackdown 2 here? That's probably, that's not a good idea. Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, hey. Cut it. I mean, I guess it's 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 an exclusive, I guess. But like, where's Viva Pinata? If we're gonna use that excuse, where's the uh, the Viva Pinata sequels? One of the best. I love Dead Rising 2. Oh my god, 2010 was such a fucking good year, too. Uh, I can't believe we're getting a sequel to Alan Wake 2. Dude. <sighs> 2 as in T-O-O. -O. It is Alan Wake 2, but I meant 2. I can't believe we're getting a sequel to Alan Wake 2. There it is. I love this game, too, from what I played. I got, like, maybe 30 hours in I couldn't play anymore because it was fucked. Like, now I could play it, but, of course, my saves are gone, so... Because I never transferred my 360 saves to my Xbox One and then my Series X. So. Cause I, I guess I never put them on the cloud. I, I don't know. Whatever. Fuck it, I guess. I'm going to say this. Fable 3, great game until the end. Great game, and then when you become king, the whole... Look at the fucking... Look at the box art. Look at the box art. Look at the box art. Wait, can you see it? I think cut part off. Okay, I didn't. Okay, good. Um, like it, it's it's amazing until the fucking the part that it's hyping up. You're king. Make choices. You make like three choices in the games. Like you're done. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I, oh shit! Sorry. Uh, bullshit. It was actually bullshit. I, it pissed me off. I was very angry. But the game was great. Yes, Black Ops, of course. Fucking love Black Ops. Probably still might still be my favorite Call of Duty game. I think it is. Might be my favorite Assassin's Creed game still. I love Brotherhood. I just remember that game was so much fun. Like calling in your Assassin's brother. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Dead Space 2. I don't know what what is with Dead Space and after the first game, every Dead Space game from then there on came out early in the year. Like Dead Space 2, obviously. Dead Space 3 came out like February of 2013, I think. And then Dead Space uh, Remake obviously came out in January. I don't know why. Just release them in October. Portal 2. I mean, one of the best games of all time. And, oh, Mortal Kombat was the same day, right? Oh, wait, wait. oh wow. We're, wow, we're going five months. Wow, you didn't... No Mortal Kombat 9? I mean, I know... I mean, these aren't exclusive. Some of these, so Black Ops, you know, Portal 2. I guess Portal 2 might have had, like, some exclusive stuff to 360. No, no, PS3 did, because you could play it on Steam if you got on PS3, right? So, actually, if anything... Dead Eye. Wow, really? We're going to skip Mortal Kombat 9 and go to Dead Eye. All right. All right. I mean, I, I really like Dead Island 1. I really like it. I don't care what anybody says. It's fun. Yeah. Dumb. Ugh. Another franchise is born. I guess technically Dead Island's a franchise. I mean, I guess it already was because they had Riptide and that other fucking game. Battlefield 3. 
Mm-hmm. You know what? I love Battlefield 3 and 4 when they fix themselves. And 1. But I lament the fact that we've just been doing this. Yeah, like we we never went to bad company. <laughs> I mean, we did twenty one forty one or two or twenty forty two, whatever the fuck it was called. No, twenty one forty two was the older one. Twenty forty two, that's cool. But uh, I mean, it sucked, but it was a cool idea, of course. Skyrim. Do do do. So wait, are we almost at the end? Oh, that's it. I guess it's the golden age. I get you. Twenty twelve had some good games too, but yeah. Fields coming up. Is this what? Is that why this video is here? I always imagine the SpongeBob uh, guy. I experience high tide. That guy. I can't do that laugh. I used to be able to. Oh, yeah, I can't do it. Anyway, that's a weird ending. Uh, I thought maybe, is it because it's tying into Starfield? Because Xbox getting in, uh, you know, something, I guess? I don't know. Um, the pace of, all right, here we go. The pace of the most influential AAA releases during the busy, you know, Crackdown 2. Uh, busiest Xbox 360 years, 2006, 2011, based on, on a median of sales, reception, nominations, awards. Okay, excluding categories. Digital only? Yeah, I, I figured that because there was no limbo. There's no, like, really amazing games that should be there. Dustin Elysian. Too. Actually, that was 2012, so it wouldn't be in there. Uh, digital only, DLC, late 6th gen ports, DC licensed. Okay, all right. Oh, so no bad. <laughs> it's, I think they're trying to say. Um, so that means... That, that might be why No More Combat, because Warner Brothers owns it, and they're DC licensed, because sometimes DC characters show up? I don't think so. <laughs> that would be a, quite a stretch. All menus have been recorded on the original Xbox 360 version for this film. A video. Okay, cool. Nice. Hmm. Nice trip down memory lane. I like that. I really liked it. I knew what I was going to do. You don't know how good you truly had it until it's all gone. Dude. <sighs> yeah, I remember like getting a new game back then. Now it's just routine to get a new game. You know what I mean? Like, like just buy a new game. I remember getting a copy of Left 4 Dead One. I was so fucking excited for Left 4 Dead One. I was so fucking excited. I was, probably that in Borderlands, and I was uh, in the span of the same. No, it wasn't the same year, but it was like, like in a one year like distance from each other. I guess. Uh, I guess Left 4 Dead 2 was the same year as Portland. But uh, I remember being so excited for both of those games. Like, both of those games, some of my most hyped games. But I remember having Left 4 Dead 1 in my hands. I couldn't believe it. And I played with people. I played with online and stuff. It was it was an amazing time. Uh, oh. oh, it's so good. Oh, my God. Oh. <sighs> Killing each other in the spawn room. And then op- someone opening the doors to let the zombies in. <laughs> The fact someone holding up in the in the bathroom of that one uh, what was it the sewer map I, I I'm bad with map names um just hold out in the bathroom see how long you can last tank shows <laughs> I love it I fucking love it it's so good anyway Left 4 Dead 2 is a better game but still Left 4 Dead 1 is a classic in my eyes oh man there you go. That's it. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you guys later. Link in the description. I'm pretty sure I already said that. Bye.